Hey everybody, so I hope that's on. Um, I just wanted to welcome you to my first Make It Monday um, DIY post. And we are going to be making tonight a foaming hand wash. And it's so easy to make and I'm going to prove to you how actually easy it is because I'm not even going to be making it. Uh, my five year old daughter Rebecca is going to do it for us. So here is Becca. Oh, is it going to turn for me? Mm -hmm. There she is. Say hi, Becca. Hi. So, Becca, what are we making? Um, we're making some soap. Yeah, and it's going to smell just like you want it, right? Yes. So, what's the first thing we're going to put into the container? Soap and coconut oil. Careful. Yeah, so we've already measured it out for her. It's about two tablespoons of cast oil soap and one teaspoon of coconut oil. So You're Beck, right, Mom. <laughs> so, Beck, you can pour it into the container very carefully. Yes, Mom. Don't spill. If I can do it. All of it? Mm-hmm. Good. All right. What's the next thing that we need to put in? Water. Yeah, so we've already measured out the water, mm -hmm. and what you can do actually is pre-measure how much water goes into your container um, by filling it up with water first. You can pour it in, Becca. You can fill up the container first and pour it back into your, whatever you're using to pour so that you know exactly how much water is going in there. You're going to pour it all in, Becca? Right up to the top. Awesome. Okay. Oh, that might actually be a little too full. So, what's the next thing we need to put in? Um, our, our oils. Our oils. And Becca decided she went through all my oils here, and she picked out the two that she like liked to put in her. There's one coconut oil. No, the coconut oil we already put in. This one. Remember what that one's called? Um, Purify. Purify. And um, geranium. geranium. So Becca chose Purify and Geranium as her oils. So let's get Purify opened up here. Okay, and she's going to put two little tiny drops. Yeah, let's count. One. Two. Good. Put it down. And then Geranium. Can you get that one open? Good. And two drops of that. One. one. Yep, you could put another drop in. Did you only put one in? Yep. One more drop. And, and two. Good job. Thanks, Becca. So, her very own customized foaming hand wash. And actually, what I really like about this is that everybody in our house has their own. And they can customize it to whatever uh, scent they want. Hold on, Becca. I'll help you uh, close it up after, okay? Mm -hmm. Just wait, just wait. Oops. It's okay. Just hold on for a second. Um, and actually, even the baby has her own, and um, I put only one drop of essential oil in hers. Rebecca had four. For myself, I'd probably put about ten. Just for different um, ages, you can customize it uh, for how strong you need it to be. And actually, for the babies, and Becca could even as well, we use it as a total like head-to-toe body wash. Use they. She, um, the baby uses it in the bath as her shampoo, as her body wash for everything. Um, and this, what's, this is great because it's a totally all-natural, completely safe option. And it's so cheap. You, you can't even get, you know, the artificial uh, synthetic, like with all these fillers, um, hand soaps for this price. Because, you know, the cast oil soap, I'll show you the bottle of it. It's a huge bottle of cast oil soap. And I got it for like $15 and I only use two tablespoons at a time. Like that's pennies that I'm using for that. The same with the coconut oil. You can get, uh, doTERRA actually sells their own fractionated coconut oil. You can must use lip? fractionated coconut oil um, because it has to always be in the liquid state. Like, hold on a second. I'm almost done. Yes, um, and again, because you're only using that teaspoon, it's pennies. You're hardly putting any money into this at all. And the oils themselves, a couple drops. Um, and I actually have a uh, chart that shows how much each oil costs per drop. And they literally are 
pennies. The biggest expense for this uh, foaming hand wash is the bottle itself. And it's going to cost you like a dollar, but then you're going to reuse it every single time. And actually, the one that Rebecca is using was a repurposed one. Um, when we first started using essential oils and using uh, more holistic stuff, um, I had a bottle of foaming hand wash in my house that was almost gone. So we finished it up and then started using it to make our own. So we didn't even have to buy another one. Uh, the other option, too, is doTERRA sells their own pre-made foaming hand wash in the bottle and you can actually get um, on guard labeled uh, foaming hand wash bottles um, because that's what this one is scented with. It's scented with the on guard and that one's great to have too. A really good for um, cleaning germs. It's really good if uh, you know there's a sickness going around and you just want that super extra protection. I have one in my kitchen as well as one in my bathroom so you know if I've changed a poopy bum um, or you know if I'm in the kitchen and I've been cooking uh, and I really just you need that extra extra feeling of clean then I'll use that one instead of the one that I've personally made myself. So that's it that I have to talk to you about today. Thank you for watching um, and I will see you uh, next time for our DIYs.